In this tutorial, I will cover how to complete your annual online verification process. You will need to log into ParentView and enter your username and your password. Once you've logged into ParentView, there are two ways to access the annual online verification. On the left side of your screen, there is a link that says Messages. If you click Messages, you will see a link that says Begin Verification. You can also click the Online Verification tab in the upper right hand corner. The first screen is just a letting you know that we've implemented a new policy and so to start the verification you want to click begin verification. This is the welcome screen with some additional information and also if you have additional questions or you need assistance please contact your student's school. Click continue. The student summary page you will see a list of your students who are previously or currently enrolled in Arlington Public Schools, you will only be verifying for those students who are active in the school system this school year. Click Save and Continue. This is the electronic signature page. You will need to enter your name as it appears in the upper right hand corner. Click Save and Continue. You want to verify your home address. You cannot change anything on this screen. If you need to make changes, please see your um, registrar at your student's school to do uh, address changes. Click Save and Continue. Here you want to verify your information, your first name, last name, as it appears in the system, and your address. You cannot make changes to this screen. The only thing that we do require on this screen is your preferred language of communication, so you must choose an option from the drop down. Click Save and Continue. This is your contact information that we currently have in the system. If you need to make changes to a phone number, you can click inside of the boxes and you can change the number. You must select a primary number. If you need to delete a number, you will just click the box under the Delete Row column to delete. If you want to add, you can click Add New and you can also make changes to your email address. Click Save and Continue. You have now completed verifying your information. You cannot verify information for other parents or guardians. You know that the process is complete because you see a green checkbox and it says complete. Click Save and Continue. You now want to verify your emergency contacts. You will need to verify each contact that's listed by clicking Edit or In Progress. If you need to add a new emergency contact, you can click the Add New Emergency Contact button. If you need to delete an emergency contact, you will click the Delete button. Verify the first last name in Language of Communication is optional for the emergency contact. Verify the phone numbers. If you need to make changes, you can click inside of the box to do so. Click Save and Continue. You will need to do that for each emergency contact. You know that you've completed that process because you see the green checkbox. You can continue to the next screen. We're now going to be verifying the data for the students that are active in the 2019-2020 school year. To do so, click Edit or In Progress. This is the Policies page. You are verifying receipt of the APS Handbook. To view the handbook, you will click the View the APS Handbook link. It will take you to the APS webpage where you can view the handbook in English or in Spanish. You also want to acknowledge that you've received and viewed the unpaid meal charges policy, and you can do that by clicking the link here. Click Save and Continue. This is a demographics for your student. You cannot change any information on the top part of the screen. You're just verifying this information. If anything listed here is not correct, please contact your student's school. You also have the ability to change the self-designated gender. By doing so, you can click the drop down here. If your child goes by a name other than their legal name, you can enter that information in this field here. 
You also want to answer the question about their military connection by doing so by clicking the drop down. Click Save and Continue. Here you want to verify your ethnicity and race. What you see is what is currently in the system. If there are any changes, you can make them on this screen. Click Save and Continue. This is the Homeless Education Programs screen. If you require services, you will need to um, make note of that by choosing yes in these boxes that are provided here. They are required. So if you do not have a homeless need, you will just say no in both boxes. There is a link here that provides some additional information about the homeless program. Click Save and Continue. The Free and Reduced Meals page, the application is now available online. To access the application, you will need to click the View Application link, which will take you to a separate web page. You do not have to complete that process now. You can complete it later by going to the APS web page and searching for Food and Nutrition Services. Click Save and Continue. The Health Condition screen, if there are any medical conditions or health conditions for your student, they would be listed here. If you need to make changes or if you need to add, you will need to go to your student's school and see the school health office. Click Save and Continue. This is the Release of Student Information Opt Out screen. If you want to opt out of any of these options, you will need to check the box to opt out. Click Save and Continue. The PTA Student Directory, if you would like your family information included or not included, you will need to select an option or a choice from the drop-down. Click Save and Continue. The Parent Guardian Relationship screen, you're verifying your relationship to the student that you are doing the process for. You do not see information for the other parent because we have, are not allowing parents to edit information for other parents. Click Save and Continue. The Emergency Contact Relationships, you want to verify the relationship that each contact has with the student. And if the person that's listed as an emergency contact um, is not does not have a relationship to the student, you'll choose no relationship. Otherwise, you will choose an option from the drop-down other than list. If you would like your child released to this emergency contact, you must click the box next to each name. Click Save and Continue. You have the ability to arrange the sort order of how you would like the emergency contacts contacted by dragging and dropping. Click Save and Continue. Here you need to uh, inform us of what you would like the school to do if there is an emergency during the day. Would you like your child to ride home on the bus, walk home, go to the home of a different adult, go to extended day, or if there are any other instructions. But you must provide an option on this screen. Click Save and Continue. The last screen is an additional information and helpful link screen. We've provided some links for some additional information that may be of use to your family. To view that information, you just need to click More Info. Save and Continue. You've now completed the process for your student. If you have multiple students, you would need to complete the process for each student by clicking Edit or In Progress. Click Save and Continue. Once you've completed the progress, the process for your student, you will need to go back and review by clicking the review button. This allows you to see the changes that you have made. If you need to make additional changes, just click the edit button next to that area. Once you're done, click the done button and then you will click submit. It will ask you to confirm that you have verified and updated all the required screens. You will click OK. You will get a message letting you know that you successfully submitted your annual online verification. You have now completed the annual online verification process.